Hello and welcome to the Drivers Hub. Today, me and Soham, the two hosts, are here to practice. Uh, not even practice. We are here to learn about racing and learn about driving. Two noobs and uh, Rio racing. So you guys are going to find out if we are actually any racers, which I really don't think we are. Today we have realized it, as you can see. We have already done our session, but this is the beginning of the video. So you guys are going to love what's coming because we have had. Too much fun, and you guys are going to learn a lot. So please watch out for this pace. So, before we started any of the track sessions, we had to fill out a few forms and learn a few basic rules when we were out on track. Rio Racing also provided us with some gloves and balaclavas for the course. But first, let me introduce you to our instructors. First up is Aditya Pawar. Runner-up at the 2011 Suzuki Autocross, has gotten multiple podiums in pro four-stroke karting. And was a force to be reckoned with at VW's Polo and Winter Cup. Then we had Abha Mankar. She came top five in the Mercedes Young Drivers Program, top ten in the One in a Billion Hunt, and is a multiple podium holder in two-stroke and four-stroke karting. Now onto the track. We're now going for our first uh, little uh, lap around. Bhavnik's already into the in the car, and uh, the instructors are just gonna look at how we're driving, see where we are when it comes to driving, and accordingly give us tips and teach us how to drive, and uh, you know give us more advice, more knowledge about karting in general. So I'm gonna hop into one car. Of course, first session of the day, egos were high in the sky. Everyone was trying to show the instructors how fast they were. No one really cared about breaking points, lines, or any sort of racing etiquette. And of course, someone had to get overconfident and do some sort of dumb mistake. After the session, the instructors pulled everyone into the pits and explained to us what our first mistake was. And mind you, it was not even something we did on track. Anyone who wants to get into professional karting. There's nothing like this in a professional car. It's all there's no metal at all. It's just the, the, the pipes. So basically, you you don't have a place to keep it here. So the way to get is in is away from the engine side. First of all, put your right leg in, then your left leg in, and then you just hold the steering and slide down. Simple. While while getting out, keep one hand here, the other here, and slide out. Be careful of these cables. Okay, you are not supposed to step on them because it will affect your acceleration and your braking. Okay, so we have done our shakedown laps, and uh, now we are on our way to the classroom to uh, get to know what our standings are. Where do we stand personally without any training? And uh, I'm pretty sure he's going to tell us uh, what is the next uh, part of the session. The next uh, lecture, and uh, we'll come back for the next session. So let's find out what they have to say for us. Okay, classroom session done. Uh, our next exercise is going to be a slalom course, and uh, we are, have been told to go cautiously and try and learn new things and try and figure out what they're going to teach us for the next session so i'm pretty sure it's going to be quite a revelation once anyone full sends it in uh, the slalom course and uh, i hope even uh, me and soham learn quite a lot from today's session so that's it let's get to the slalom session and see what can we find out and uh, if we can learn something new soham sir so on sir interview what how are you how are your feelings good i mean are you tired no not really after 7 minutes of no not do you really. feel it though what in your arms yeah it hurts it pains it kind of hurts right yeah you need strength Call so it. now we're going to be doing a slalom session do you think you're going to spin out during the slalom not at all 
I mean, that's what everyone says. That's what everyone says. Yeah. Okay. I mean. So the basic point of this test was to understand judgment and placement. What most of us didn't take into consideration while going through the slalom was that the front of the car was narrow and the rear was wider. So while going through the cones, even though we thought we had cleared it, most of the time the rear of the car would clip the cones. So in the next session, keeping that in mind, we had to improve. Okay, so we are just out of the classroom and uh, our next session is going to be a braking session. We're going to be learning how to brake between two cones. So one cone is going to demark what, when we need to brake and the other cone we need to stop right at that cone without locking up, which is the trick. And uh, that's, basically, that's basically going to teach us, I suppose, how to bleed the brakes off and how to control the basically how to control the brakes without locking up and screwing up so uh, the first batch is out and now that our batch is the next one so hopefully the rain stops and maybe it dries up a little bit more but uh, the more it rains the harder it's gonna be looking to uh, actually accomplish this so let's just hope for the best Probably your first run yeah. is would be bad, but progressively your brakes will get better. Yeah. It's, just, it's you have to heat up the brakes. Any mm -hmm. any which way in race car, uh, you do tire warm up and brake warm up. Yeah. 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 yeah, there's a sequence of events you need to follow yeah. to That's do this. Yeah. Yeah. or the formation. Yeah. formation. Okay. Now even after this newly gained knowledge, none of us could accomplish this simple yet frustrating task. But the thing is, applying the correct amount of brake pressure and knowing how the car will react in the given conditions takes years and years of practice. Plus we were a bunch of noobs on a wet track with slick tyres. It was near to impossible for any of us to master this technique in a few hours. So we moved on to the next session. So in the last uh, session we were doing the braking uh, practice so we basically had to come to a stop uh, at a cone in that much amount of distance and since it was wet and we all are pretty much noobs none of us got it uh, perfect in the first try. Second session was a little bit better. Uh, now we are gonna uh, be learning how to implement that braking technique along with clipping the apex. So that's what we are basically gonna try out now.
So we're just done with our course over here with Rayo, and I mean we are cold, we are dirty, we are. We were just miserable kind of, but we had too much fun. Uh, both of the coaches, Abha and Aditya, were amazing. They told us a lot of techniques and tricks when it comes to braking, applying the throttle and cutting in for the apex. Both of us found out that we were absolute trash at braking today. And most of the other things that were there, we were eh, mediocre. Uh, but Tomorrow is going to be a more informative day and more hands-on experience in the sense that today we had all of the like basics done like braking, throttle control, slalom etc etc as you saw in the video and tomorrow hopefully is going to be a much more informative and hands-on uh, experience in that sense so can't wait for tomorrow and do check out our channel for more uh, interesting videos like this subscribe to our channel check out Rayo Racing as well they're an amazing motorsports team over here in India and we would highly suggest that if you're trying to get into motorsports in India Rayo Racing is the place to go